Okay, what we need to do here is to, to show how you can use government spending to reach the level of full employment, and we need to use the goods market diagram. And then we have to comment on the size of the, the change in government spending that is needed to bring about full employment. So let's first draw the diagram. And here's our Z, demand for goods, and level of output. Our 45 degree line showing that demand equals output. These are our equilibrium positions. We have a given demand for goods, Z. And now we have to show the level of full employment. Now from the, the question we know that this level of equilibrium output is less than the level of full employment. And this will be our equilibrium income. And as you can see, there's a gap between the current level of output and then level of full employment. And the question is, how can you make use of government spending to close that gap? Now, we know that the equilibrium level of income is equal to the multiplier times the autonomous spending. And we know that government spending is a component of the autonomous spending. So, in order to increase the level of output, we will have to increase government spending. Now the autonomous part is measured on this intercept, and now we're going to increase our government spending, our autonomous spending, and we have a new demand curve that takes us to full employment. Now if you look at the size of the increase in government spending, this is represented by this shift here. So this is the change in government spending. But because of the multiplier effect, we know that the increase in income is, is a multiplier times the change in government spending. So the increase in government spending that you need to go to full employment is less than the full employment gap here. So you only need, say, 100 to get an increase of 300 in income.